I love this intro. So I yeah. do too. I keep watching it. It's really nice. I love how they went right with the uh, 90s crash and then. Yeah. You <laughs> see, to, to, you fu see... to fuck with us, they use the crash bash model. <laughs> you see every polygon. Yeah, you can literally count the, fr uh, the, 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 the faces. You can count all the tries. The tries. Look at all that. Yeah, that's the crash I know. No, the old crash is the crash you know. This is yeah. the crash. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. Hello, Matt. No, it's a vicarious provision. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our summer project we have for SGB. A lot of you kind of guessed already what we had in store for you guys. But yeah, the Insane Trilogy is out. You're damn right we're doing it because we did the original <laughs> trilogy already on the uh, on the channel previously. And I figured, uh, you know, uh, I think it's time we do them again. <laughs> look, They look way better. They, they're designed way better. And... I think it's just appropriate that we do it this way. Also, yeah. the production of the game shows that it shows that they had a lot of love in it. All right, so let's talk about how it's going to go. I mean, we're pretty much going to go in order this time. I know we started with three, went to two, and went to one. We did it backwards yeah. last time. We're going to do it in order this time. So I'm going to take Crash 1. Matt is taking Crash 2 like he did last time. Yep. And Elliot will be wrapping up with Crash Bandicoot Warped. Damn so straight. So we got a marathon for <laughs> and you And then folks. maybe, just maybe, we one of us may actually get around to playing Crash 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In theory. I, I love Crash Mania. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I love Crash Bandicoot 4 Episode 1. <laughs> yeah, call Crash the Wrath of Cortex. Yeah. For the, uh, I mean, uh, we, we could always like to say, oh, look, it's a little memory card. I didn't even see this before. I love <laughs> that. That's really nice. I like that. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but that always pops up every time you save the game normally, though. Yeah. But then again, it does auto-saving. All right. Well, one slot's on auto save. The other three are yeah. to do it as you keep it. But like, I'm I'm that person that likes to play it safe. Just so save. do I. So I mean, let's just get this out of the way. This game looks amazing. Oh yeah, it does. It looks great. It looks fucking fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I mean, granted, when you jump from PS1 to PS4, it's it's <laughs> just two generations of consoles. Then yeah, it is it is quite a jump. And they really did their damnedest to remake all the uh, original assets for uh, Fur K. Yeah, they call it yeah, Fur, Fur K. K. But, like, Fur K. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I need your help, uh, Fur K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe all the uh, voice actors are from the modern Crash game. So uh, Lex Lang as um, as uh, Neo Cortex, and Maurice Lemache as uh, Brio. A brain from <laughs> Picky and the Brain. Uh, uh, who, I mean, they all do a great job. I believe Lex Lang's been voicing Cortex's Twin Sanity. Yep. Uh, and I mean, I love. The, I mean, I, I always got my heart belongs to Clancy Brown, of course. <laughs> but I think Lex Lang does a damn good job as well. Oh yeah. yeah so this is something that they changed up a bit. It's like Tana is actually like fending off some of the guys before they decide to surround her. Yeah. But she, I think she does manage to get away for a little bit. <laughs> No, nah, she gets away in every bonus game, and then Cortex is like, oh, there you are. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Which is good. I like that. It's like justification compared to I the original agree. game, yeah. where it's like, she was the game show hostess. It's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and why can't I take you with me? <laughs> I'm just a figment of your imagination. Oh, that's, that's, that, that's sad. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, just look at the game, folks. I mean, we got everything here. We can do pretty much everything we could do in Crash. That is jump and spin. Yes. And we have full analog control, which I'm not using because I like. And mentally, yeah, that's one of the few things that fucked me up at first too. <laughs> I've been using I've been using the analog stick. No, I've, I, I've, I've, I've been, had two, but have now to it's D-pad. I have to use D-pad. I've been using D-pad since the the mid '90s. Like, I mean, to ease their own. I'm, right. I'm I'm more used to using to using the analog stick for 3D moving. You're also used to uh, piloting uh, games with the control stick regular instead of inverted. So yes, you like yes, control set the yes. Wrong. I'm a freak. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a, I should be an X man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is beautiful. Uh, I yeah. love the way it looks. It's Already sound, invincible. The soundtrack is amazing. Amazingly recreated. Yeah. Although some tracks are a little hit and miss for me uh, personally. Uh, it depends we'll, on the instrumentation. We'll, yeah, we'll get into that as we go along. I'm um, sorry. I'm just making sure that I don't let death perception fuck with me because yeah, that that's one, one of the thing. few things that got me in this game a few times. Oh, well, I ain't get them all, but we can do this. So this is something that also fucks me. So for some reason, I find bouncing on boxes just a little trickier in, yeah, the, in this same, remake. Yeah, me too. I haven't had that issue. I haven't had that issue. I've had my other share of issues, but not that. <laughs> 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 this is one thing I love. There now the go. now your gem is inside a box. Yeah, and then when and you break that open, yeah. yeah, 
you can actually see how many boxes you need left in like the game too. Compare, yeah, like just like Crash Two and Three. There's a lot of things they do for Crash One to make it more closer to Crash Two and Three in design. Although there are still some inherently old school things about Crash One. It's difficulty. Uh, the difficulty. Difficulty. Crash there. doesn't have the slide, which no. I miss the fucking most. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything that I miss the most. I mean, I think I did this in the original Crash One uh, Let's Play, but it's like I miss the slide so much. There's also some new relics to get here. Yes, Crash Insane, uh, Crash One. <laughs> it's Crash Insane in the Membrane. <laughs> has yes, relics Crash Insane in, in the, the Membrane. membrane. <laughs> also, in the brain. also, you can save <laughs> while you're on the map. You don't have no. to. No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you, can al you can also finally save when you're on the map. You don't need to get the Tonda tokens. Yeah, the game auto right. saves. Thank uh, which God. Is, which is one of those things I didn't really mind to begin with because the way I, like I said in the Crash One playthrough, but the only time you really get the bonus tokens and stuff like that, you save then. But you also the game also automatically auto saves you whenever you get gems. So ultimately, you're not really in too much of a risk of a dead game too much just because you know you got it. But you it's like it was like so that. it was so unorthodox though. Yeah. That's the thing, you know. But the tokens were also placed in the way of every single time, so it was really impossible to miss it because they were never off the beaten path. Right. In a way, but it's still like unorthodox compared to like other things where you, you know you, you you you're given the option to save like after every level. You know, fucking Mario World, that a better save system than Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. Like it's it's a convenience. You in saved this after case. every level too. Just the only difference was the bonus range. It's just a convenience in this case. Right. Yeah. Uh, much better convenience uh, in my opinion. Yeah. I love that they made they managed to restrain themselves and keep it like a quiet sort of beautiful summer for this. Yeah. Oh, one thing about this version compared to the others. Now the bonus but games count too for yeah. those for the crates. Yeah. Not so much of a pain in the ass when it comes to the to the um the regular stuff. bonus stages, but when it comes to Brio with Cortex. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. One saving grace you do get, though, you fuck up the bonus game, you get to retry. Yeah, and they don't count towards deaths if you're going for uh, color gems, which it remain, which retain the old school challenge of Crash One, where uh, you can't die at all uh, right. once to get the uh, color gem in the specific stages. Jungle Rollers, on the unfortunately, is one of those stages. It's early as the second stage it hits you. It's like you need a gem to get the box gem for this right. one. Because God damn it, they had a fun laugh and a half doing this, so we're gonna keep seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when the game got released, Sony employees were actually lucky because they got the game in a PS1 retro style jewel case. I fucking wish I had I that. I wish I had that. I mean, I think I, everyone you know, a Sony employee is probably going to put it on eBay for like three grand. <laughs> I, think, I think everyone who, who got this three game grand. wish they had this. Because like, it came with a download code inside it, while yeah. the disc is a, it's just a regular disc. I would I would love to own that though. Like like I said, it's like I like I said personally, it's a nice novelty to have. Yeah, well, I mean that's exactly why I would yeah. like it though. Just just for the nostalgia's sake for it. Yeah. Ah, the great gate, and I love what we can't um, get all the we can't get the box gem for. Nope. So who's keeping uh, time? Who's keeping time? Hmm, that's a good question. We'll talk well, about that later. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're just letting it. We're yeah, just going with the just flow. Just going with the flow. Fuck right. Because we're playing Crash, and um, that's all I really care about. I'm trying to hold on to as many Aku Aku bits as <laughs> like that. I'm going to need it. But it's not like we can get the box gem in this level anyway right now. Right, you need the yellow jump from yeah. all the way near the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, for, you know, <laughs> fucking lab. <laughs> ah, just ah. thinking about it makes me fall off like a dope. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, before playing this, I was actually playing the Wrath of Cortex. Oh, you motherfucker. Anyway, what were you saying? I was playing. You the were playing the Rats of Cortex, and you got hurt by yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it. It pissed me off too much. Rats of Cortex? Yeah. I only hated the load times, which I heard wasn't a real issue in the Xbox version compared to the no, PS2. No, it's not. No, and uh, future releases of the PS2 version. Fix I, load times I am not the one with the future release. Same, same here, Elliot. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about day that. Day one punishment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got day one, eh? Fuck you. But, but honestly, straight up. That was the only thing I really didn't like about Wrath of Cortex. The low times? Yeah. It's one thing it fucks up on. Other than that, it's like Crash 3 with a harder level Well, you curve. know, uh, there are uh, uh, fans, of, I mean, people are emulating uh, similar complaints for this game, actually. Uh, people think the low times are pretty intrusive. Not for the bonus games. They, they're pretty fast. Like, that's about a second long. I haven't noticed. Like, they're not as bad as Wrath of for the record, no, uh, For the record, we're playing this on a PS4 Pro. Yeah. Uh, with boost mode enabled. So I don't know if maybe that has anything to do with it. Uh, but I don't think the load times are that bad. There are a lot of them, to be yeah. fair. Uh, but I don't think they're as intrusive. Look, nothing beats Sonic 06, right? And nothing will ever beat. Well, it's not Wrath of Cortex bad, in my opinion. Yeah, right. As long as it ain't Wrath of Cortex bad, I can tolerate it. Yeah. Like, I, I think I, I think also I was playing on, like, 
a wrong TV. A wrong TV? Like as in like I'm playing I'm playing it on a widescreen <laughs> this TV. This isn't American. Like I was playing I was playing it on a widescreen. It's gonna look darker Anymore? than it usually does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I love this. You know, I mean, it sucks when I miss boxes, but now I, I kind of want to see <laughs> yeah. those boxes because for every 10 boxes, Crash gets more and more hurt. Like, I think if you miss up to 40 boxes, he's on the floor collapsed. Yeah, that's a trophy. Just, and you get a trophy for that. <laughs> oh, the trophies in this game are really funny. Oh, absolutely. Um, Reminds me of the ones in Crash 3 where the ones you get for getting the relics are named after some of the uh, commercials. Like right, most of what he's right because well, I just I, right. I got some of my, myself uh, yesterday uh, for the video that I plan on doing, uh, but um, uh, well, the first the one one of the first ones I got was I accidentally spun a life away. Yeah, <laughs> and the name of the achievement is I meant to do that. <laughs> it's like yeah, I, no, I, I didn't, but I appreciate the laugh. Uh, the boulder level. I love the detail here. I mean, this is something they did since Crash 2, the original right. one, but now Crash has a panicked face on him because yeah. he knows something's behind him, but he can't look back. He doesn't want to look back. <laughs> All he knows is he hears something loud and rumbling, so I was yeah. like, what? It's like, fuck. <laughs> My ex-wife. <laughs> also, I am, um, I'm not too sure on this. In this in this version, does he still have the whole like looking behind him thing like in the original? I don't think he d well, I he don't didn't, recall he never, it. He never had that in Crash 1. It was Crash 2 and 3 that gave him that. No, I thought, no I'm talking about in general. For an, I, for an idol animation. I haven't oh. paid attention in Oh, you mean like the twitchy, paranoid drug yeah. dealer idol animation? Yeah. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know. We can try that out. Yeah, like, after after little, the boulder chase. Yeah, after yeah. the boulder. Because I'm a little curious about that now. I, have, I haven't been paying attention when I did level 5 in Crash 2. So. By the way, the uh, the boulder uh, breaks boxes now, and yeah. they count. Right. Thank, thank God. Before. Yeah. So they got to hope like hell it doesn't decide to ghost over one of the boxes you, ha you missed. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's see if Crash has a paranoid animation. We can do a little cut here. No, I think he means when you're moving. No, I think I'll admit the, no. I'll admit the no, idol there animation. it is. Yeah, there we go. The paranoid uh. drug dealer Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that guy. It's like that guy that just like that gets that gets jumped in an alley once. <laughs> <laughs> that one reason I'll be both the paranoia and people I like. It. <laughs> Oh, the the hey. Aku Aku loading screen is like, why, why is his face like, <laughs> like hey. Hey, hey, are you coming on to me? Yeah. Baby, I'm all wood. Want to show you my Uka Uka? Turn him into Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> well, mid 90s, so yeah, it's right. appropriate. Yeah. You want to know why I got these feathers uh, on my head? I want an Uka Uka in your Aku Aku. <laughs> oh my god, Aku Aku. <laughs> That's your brother. <laughs> Uh, upstream, we're not gonna this be able to get the box. This is one of the. One. This is one of the few. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. Anyway, shit. everybody's done that. Anyway, what were we saying? This is one of the few music. This is one of the few tracks of the game where I like the PS1 version a little better, just because it was a little more quiet. Yeah, they add a. Uh, there's more percussion in this one. Right. I don't mind it though. Like I said, yeah. I just prefer. It's a preference. Yeah, but one thing they really did. Uh, like keep faithful to the original game was that yeah this um, Crash Bandicoot one soundtrack was always the most atmospheric of all of them right so they went with that but they also made it a little more upbeat too in yeah, some areas I think just to keep in tone with Crash two and three right though not to that extreme because Crash three is like I want to dance <laughs> I want to dance munch 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 oh, I'm playing food that was Crash two it's like Crash one had a xylophone but um Crash it's still here too but Crash three had the um. The hang drum. That just means that Naughty Dog got a better budget. Yeah. <laughs> but damn, they didn't know what they were doing from the start. Yeah. I hate the plant noises for record. It just sounds really weird. Like, he, he, there's a wind, ah. There's also a winding sound. That's to what it I sound too. like when I'm waking up, man. <laughs> you mean like today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, Elliot was waiting outside the door for like was ne it? Nearly, near, an nearly an hour because I, I had a long night. <laughs> I was like, I called, you, I called you like over, like over twenty times. Yeah, because my phone was on vibrate and then my phone's vibrate is really fucking quiet. And I'm like, likewise. Sh I'm like, what the fuck what do the I fuck do here? Do <laughs> I think Captain I, Planet will know. <laughs> I think I came, I think I came too early. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about me and Sabrina. Let's talk about Crash. <laughs> 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 I got nothing. <laughs> no defense, Elliot? No defense. <laughs> I got no defense. So I, must I do defense. come too early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is it this game or two where you get a trophy if you let one of the plants eat you? Uh, 
I want. Uh, I don't know. No, it I, wasn't. I think, I think it wasn't this one. No, I think it's both. I think it's both because I remember getting a trophy for that. I don't I, remember we, getting we one for the, here. We can check the profile later. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're gonna call it a wrap here uh, for session one. Uh, session one. I feel like doing a fucking live stream <laughs> <laughs> for part one of the Crash and Save trilogy uh, is, marathon but, roundabout fee. But thing. isn't Papu Papu coming? Isn't Papu Papu? Yeah. Coming up, Nick, you're right. Should we we can we can finish him real I quick. I think we can finish him. Yeah. He's like he's very easy here. Well, no, he's always been. He's always been very easy. Well, he's also very fat. But <laughs> not out loud, man. No, fuck, I mean, it's a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Moana in theaters now. <laughs> good fucking movie. I still haven't seen it. I heard really good things. I liked good it. I liked, movie. I liked it. You can easily just, just jump yeah, on just, the chair just, and pop on him. Yeah, just jump on you him. You don't have to wait. That's literally all you got to do. You don't have to wait. You really don't have to wait. No. Just do it. Just keep doing this. You'll right, I want to give him some hope. You see, if I do that too early, I get hurt. But I... Just start, start. Uh, God, a, man, that thing crack. is dangerously close to falling off. I would like by it. the by, I fell victim to this. What? If you're all right behind him or anywhere near him, when he falls, you will get hurt. I fell victim to that. I had a laugh, but I fell victim to it. I would like an HD version of CTR. Oh, that would be oh, great. That should have so, been on that DLC. That, get on that. That, that, that would that 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 be. Look, I'm about as hard as Aku right now. <laughs> that would be really cool I to have. I would fucking love that. Well, we can talk more about that in the next session. Uh, how so, you're hard for Aku? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I'm hard for Aku. <laughs> or Aku's hard for me. <laughs> anyway, folks, we do really appreciate you uh, tuning in for watching. We got a lot more uh, for you playing. Cause it's summertime, baby. Yep. And you know, as you know, what that means it's like daily videos until the summer ends, or at least until we feel like it. Sun's out. <laughs> AC's on. AC's on. <laughs> Good old. Anyway, see you guys for part two.